John, what's the reaction he likes since the defeat Monday? <clears throat> Obviously, lads are disappointed. Um, I suppose the most important thing in 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 this club and this group since the management came in, we're very united. You know, we had a chat with the players this morning. You know, there was a good discussion with the lads. They're disappointed with what's gone on, um, but we're very tight knit. You know, everyone's working extremely hard. I believe in these guys. Yeah. You know, and um, we can see the talent is. Yes, we have a number of players out injured at the moment, but there's still no excuses. We just know in the last two games that we've let points slip, which is disappointing because our performances have indicated that we should have taken more points. But um, as I keep saying, um, you know, a very united group, great bunch of guys, and they're all disappointed for the supporters the way the way the results are. But like, there's no there's no hiding place, and you have to get back and work hard. And um, you know, out this morning again, everyone out there training as hard as they can, getting getting ready for Friday's match. And how do you, as a coach, then kind of change recent form? Do you change personnel? Do you change formation? How does it work? Well, I think it's 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 you know it's it's always a challenge. I suppose the thing about the management team here, you know, we've been we've been here for a number of years. You know, thankfully, every year has been very very successful. This is the start. Of the year has been it's been difficult. The first the first quarters, no doubt about that, and uh, and there's been a lot of changes within the club as well. You know, so from that point of view, it's different. You know, what you have to do is do what you've always done. You know, work hard. You know, believe in the guys. Train, train properly, um, and it's been. It, it, I, I suppose at the end of the day, and you know, within the group, make sure that you have a strong guys and that they're united and they're 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 all looking at themselves and they're giving everything they have, and that's what they're doing. And you know, there's no, there's no sort of, um, you know, at the end of the day, we've we've been here a long time. You know, we've had been we've had spells before when you, you get a dip and things happen, and you you just have to get a head down and work hard. And and, and when you've an honest bunch of boys and. You know they're united and they want to do the right thing. That's that. That's 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 just the way you have to keep going. Are you feeling the pressure? Are you feeling the pressure in your recent form? No, I I suppose what what it is to to be honest with you is that I always said like you know there's no hiding place for this management team. Everyone knows who we are. We're all ex players. We came in as the job of our life. You know our own home club, and we've had an absolutely absolutely phenomenal time. And every day we come in, it's a privilege, and you know all the supporters that are out there. They know that there's no, there's no. We work within the club structures, and but it is difficult. But we've had difficult times before. You know, at the end of the day, or my second year was, was spells was difficult. The third year again was difficult. Going for the double, the league that time was difficult. There were spells as well, and unfortunately, you know, we have a new group, a lot of changes, and it, we're going through a difficult spell. But I believe in the, these lads. Yes. Would I, do I think we should be higher up the table? I do. Do I think we can get into the top four and qualify for Europe? Um, absolutely. You know, I'm, I'm, we're totally determined that we believe we we believe we will turn it around, and uh, so we just need everyone to be united within the group here, which they are. And I suppose on the outside, obviously, I know there's you know that you know there's a bit of criticism to the management of players. That's normal. But what we have to do is be united. We need everyone to row in and back the boys because we will turn around. There's no doubt about it. But it is frustrating. You know, you can't say in the last two games, both games were won with five minutes to go. Mm. And we took one point out of six, which is disappointing. The, the lads themselves are, are cut all over that. Um, but the most important thing is that they're very strong, they're tight-knit, and they're working hard. And, um, you know, from that point of view, that's, that, that, that's the only way you can turn these things around. You want to water for, for, for the Munster Derby, not the easiest place to go when you're trying to arrest the slight performance. Well, there's, there's no easy game. You know, and you know, and this is the thing in our league, and even when you're at the top, there's, there's no easy, no no easy game, and certainly, uh, you know, Waterford have a very strong squad, you know, excellent players, and it's always a difficult venue for us. So, you know, we know again, Friday is going to be one hell of a battle, and we have to be ready for it, and we have to see can we can we can can we get the positive result in the last two games? We've been close, but we haven't done it, and um, you know, so. All the lads are bursting Friday night to see can we turn around. There's no one more frustrated than them, and um, and uh, you know we'll go there Friday night. We'll give everything we have, and, and that's just the way it is. What's the injury situation, John? Anyone like you to be back before that? Well, it's, it's disappointing in the in the sense that we, we you know you look at Monday night and you had Conor McCormick, you had uh, Shep, um, Benno, Daryl O'Connor, Cullum Horgan, all probably senior players missing. So it is frustrating, and obviously. Gary got, got, you know, was unfortunately got sent off then, you know, so yeah. Gary misses the match. So, will any of those five be back? Possibly for Friday, unlikely, for Monday maybe. You know, yeah. so it's just, you know, it's, 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 it's difficult from that point of view. So, um, but at the same time, you know, we, we still have lots of good lads. There's lots of positives. Young Darryl Crowley came in the last, he did very well. You know, he's one of the youth players. Unfortunately, Keith Murphy's 
got injured yeah. last week is out so but overall um, a lot of our play the other night and you know defensively and you know we really didn't give UCD any chances you yeah. know that's, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a plus but at the same time um, yeah we have to we, you know as we keep saying you have to just take the criticism and Right, right, and and only we can do that is by getting positive results. And when you have conceded late goals in the last two games like that, is it is it difficult or, or how hard is it to kind of make sure that there are no doubts the next time you're leaving a game with, with five minutes left? Well, that's the challenge, and 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 you know and we discussed it, and you know as I keep saying, these are brilliant bunch of guys and they're tight, and they know you know that it wasn't a good nothing. Some of that boys down to concentration. Not playing the game out, yeah, and uh, no, it was difficult at the same time because we were down a man. But it's you know in the in in the overall scheme, you know, bar three long range shots, you see hadn't created anything. So we, the lads are frustrated about that, and it is it is frustrating. So yeah, it's something that uh, we need to manage. But um, um, you know, I suppose uh, it's more impo- more importantly from our, from our own point of view, we just have to we just have to see can we see out a result, and that's that's what that's what um. You know, we'll try and do. And yourself and Gary Buckley had a bit of a moment during the game on Monday. Was that just kind of heated the moment stuff? No, no. You see, like in in modern, like the problem is that when you lose a game or two, people are out there and they're making up skill. Last year it was Alan Bennett, myself, and Alan had a flare up a couple of weeks ago. It was Carl Shepherd. Gary Buckley has been absolutely a phenomenal player for this club. He's played every game since I've been the manager. He's club captain. Oh, like we're passionate people, and absolutely, myself and Gary Buckley are the closest. Guys, you could meet same as Carol Morris, any of those guys. But people put legs on stories. There's nothing, you know, absolutely like it was laughable. What was being said, we heard it yesterday. We were in in the in the Marlick and some Gary were laughing, and it's just, yeah, you know, yeah. what I mean, you know, at the end of the day, do uh, do we do we have words in the dressing room with the players? And that's been always the case. Yeah. It's been ever since the day we came in. There's always been, uh, you know, words being said behind behind closed doors and whatever. But as a group, they go out and they 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 fight for their lives, and that's what they've always done, and that that's what it continue to be absolutely. Gary Buckley and myself, if, if that's all people can speculate that there's problems between me and him, well, God for it because uh, we're, 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 he'd be, he'd be, he's my club captain at the moment along with, along with a few of the other lads and uh, he's, uh, he's, he's an incredible guy and he knows that. I know John, you're confident of turning everything around, but do, do you have any fear that the board might, might, might not have the same confidence or that they will blink before that? I have no control on that Martin, that's their choice. You know, at the end of the day, you know, the management team have come in. We took, you know, the club were on its knees, seriously in debt, you know, seriously down the table, crowds less than a thousand. And um, <clears throat> the team have been in the top two for the last five years. Four cup finals, won a double, back to back cups, Europe every year. You know, you know, at the end of the day, if they, if all of a sudden that management team, you know, that has done that, there's been massive cuts within the club, massive new, you know, change of budgets. We walk within the structures. And uh, we work with the need as of what the club want to do, what the board wants us to do, and uh, that's that's their choice. You know, at the end of the day, you know, I can only do my best every day. That's what the management team do. We do our best every day, and you know, over the last five, six years, it's been it's been it's been excellent. If you get a, a blip, and a bad run of form, and uh, you know, realistically, you know, I think people can see, and uh, from the outside, and our, our own, our majority of supporters know with the huge turnaround on the players that are out there. You know that happened this year. That this was always going to be a tough year. It is. There's no doubt about that. You know, but all I can do is work as hard as I can every day. And, and at the end of the day, I sort of, you know, if 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 that was a decision, fine. You know, if there's someone out there that would bring the club to another level, great. You know, all I know is that we work as hard as we can. We're doing our best, and our best for the last five years was was inc- incredibly strong. And the amount of money that's been brought into the club, but you know, that's that's out of, outside of my 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 my, uh, my remit. And John, just we'd say events kind of um, with the FBI over the last week or two. I mean, just from the point of view of the league, mm. do you see this as a big opportunity, but or, or like the next stage, the next step for? Well, you'd you'd hope so, but I suppose, Mark, look at at the end of the day, I, we have our own things in here to turn around. You know, I'm very positive about the league. I see a lot of a lot of you know things that could happen. But a lot of clubs have to get their house in order as well, and have to be as have to be right. And you know the sustainability of clubs. You know that if you go through a bad patch, you know you hear stories of cash flow issues and stuff. You know how can that happen? You know so, you know what we have to see in the FAI is who takes over, what happens, what people become involved. You know as I said, Chi, and you've heard this long enough for forty years. I don't think our league has progressed. You know yes, I think there's been lots of 
you know things like players and I think the training and lots of stuff has got, has got much better but as a, as a league and a perception coverage from you know TV coverage TV money mm-hmm. right I don't think we've progressed from that point of view in 40 years and there's massive challenges you know it could be a huge turning point that that will happen but I think we have to see what who are the people that come in you know what's their background is there a passion to really promote and drive a professional league in this country which there should be you know I've always said that and uh, and hopefully that will happen you know this may be the time but I think we have to wait and see who comes who takes charge and and and, and see what's their what's their, their their aims but um you know but I would I would I'm always I'm always um when I look through the clubs and look around the clubs and I look at success of clubs have had up and down whatever you know and, and and clubs go through different periods you know it's always you know one where unfortunately there's still a lot of clubs where you're three or four bad results where away from being in cash flow problems and you wonder how does that happen you know because that shouldn't happen in in in, in well run properly structured professional clubs so from that point of view um it is difficult and that's difficult in our league here because unfortunately we're so reliant on gates and on the other side the commercial business isn't as strong and obviously there's no tv money so there's lots of areas where there, there, there's no revenue which is very difficult compared to across channel